Hello everyone, my name is Tanushya Patir, a fourth year veterinary student and I am here to discuss a very important livestock related disease that is milk fever. Here are the contents, definition, etiology, clinical findings, differential diagnosis, treatment and prevention. Definition Parturient paresis is also known as milk fever and also hypocalcemia. It is an acute to peracute afebrile that is without any sign of fever, flaccid paralysis of mature dairy cow and it occurs soon just after parturition. It is manifested by mentation, generalized paresis and circulatory collapse. Etiology Dairy cows secrete around 20 to 30 grams of calcium in colostrum and milk in early stages of lactation. This secretion of calcium serum level declined from a normal of 8.5 to 10 mg per deciliter to less than 7.5 mg per deciliter. This sudden decrease in calcium level causes hyperexcitability of nervous system and reduce the strength of muscle contraction, resulting in both titani and paresis. Most common in high yielding dairy cow entering their third or later lactation. Incidence is higher in Chanel Island breeds. Clinical findings Perturant paresis occurs within 72 hours of perturation. It can contribute to dystocia, uterine prolapse, retained fetal membranes, metritis, abomasal displacement, and mastitis. There are three distinctive stages of perturbant paresis. In stage 1, animals are ambulatory, that is, they can move around in their limbs, but shows hypersensitivity and excitability, tremors over flanks and triceps, ear twisting and head bobbing. In stage 2, cow unable to stand but they maintain external recumbency, it. that is, they show no response to any external stimuli, anorectic with dry muscle, subnormal body temperature, that is, lower than the normal body temperature, cold extremities, tachycardia, and decreased intensity of heart sound. Smooth muscle paralysis lead to GI stasis, then to blot, failure to defecate, loss of anal spinster tone, had extended to flank region, usually referred as ash sepid curved. Stage 3. Cow fell in unconsciousness which lead to coma. Unable to maintain their sternal recumbency and have complete muscle flaccidity, unresponsive to any kind of stimuli and can suffer from severe blood. As cardiac output worsen, heart rate can approach up to 120 BPM, which in normal cow, the heart rate is around 48 to 84 BPM. If untreated, cows in stage 3 may, suffer, may survive only a few hours. Here are the two pictures. In figure 1, we can see the typical milk fever posture that is the sternal recumbency. In figure 2, cow lying on its side that is lateral recumbency. Here also in figure 1 lateral recumbency and figure 2 the sternal recumbency. Differential diagnosis it includes toxic mastitis, toxic metritis and other systemic toxic condition and traumatic injury. In toxic mastitis and metritis, there is high rise of temperature, which is not usually seen in milk fever. Calving paralysis syndrome, that is, during perturation and also in during difficulty in perturation, the obturator nerve get damaged due to pressure in the pelvic region. Some of these diseases in addition to aspiration pneumonia. Treatment 
द रिकमेंडेड ट्रीटमेंट इज आई वी इंजेक्शन सबकट और आई पी रूट्स कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज डोजिंग इज वन ग्राम कैल्शियम पर फोर्टी फाइव के जी बॉडी वेट मोस्ट सोल्यूशन आर अवेलेबल इन सिंगल डोज फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल बॉटल दैट कंटेन एट टू इलेवन ग्राम ऑफ कैल्शियम इन लार्ज हैवीली लेक्टेटिंग काउस ए सेकेंड बॉटल ऑफ सबकट इज हेल्पफुल बिकॉज द इंश्योर प्रोलॉन्ग रिलीज ऑफ कैल्शियम इन द सर्कुलेशन टू ऑर एल कैल्शियम बॉलर्स गिवेन ट्वेल्व आवर्स अपार्ट डेट इज वन बॉलर्स जस्ट आफ्टर पर्चुरेशन एंड दैट ट्वेल्व आवर्स अपार्ट आफ्टर पर्चुरेशन कैल्शियम इज कार्ड टॉक्सिक डे फॉर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन शुड बी वेरी स्लो इफ सिवियर दिस एरिथमियस और ब्रेडिकार्डिया डेवलप एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन शुड बी स्टॉप्ड immediately oral calcium avoids the risks of cardiotoxic effect but we should be very careful as oral calcium can be caustic for both oral and pharyngeal tissues calcium propionate in propylene glycol gel or powdered calcium propionate is effective less injurious to tissues avoid the potential for metabolic acidosis caused by calcium chloride prophylactic treatment of susceptible cow are administered either subcut calcium on the day of calving or oral calcium gel at calving and 12 hours later or administration of 500 g of calcium results in 4 g of calcium being absorbed into circulation that is known as bioavailability hypocalcemia often have poor swallowing and gag reflex tremors are seen when neuromuscular function returns heart sound improve and decrease heart rate return of smooth muscle function result in eructation defecation and urination once the cow stand within 2 hours of treatment cows not responding to any treatment by 4 to 8 hours should be reevaluated and retreated if necessary Here we can see the picture of sava bed containing calcium borogluconate twenty percent. Direction is by subcutaneous or slow IV injection. Cattle around two hundred mL to four hundred mL. Horses one fifty to three hundred mL. Sheep, pigs, and goat fifteen to fifty mL. Also, we can see another one that is. B C N A T E. It has no side effect, no contraindication, and no withdrawal time. Calbarol, Bovilac, that is Bolus. Prevention. Prevention of hypocalcemia include delayed or incomplete milking after calving, which maintain the pressure within the udder and decrease milk production. But this method may lead to various kind of memory infection most recently prevention of pertussis paresis has been revolutionized by use of dietary cation difference before the feeding of low calcium diet during dry period is done as it stimulates pth secretion and stimulation and this stimulate in reabsorption and renal reproduction of one comma 25 dihydroxy vitamin d this in turn helps in release of calcium from bone and intestinal absorption but now this method is not widely used as referred before incomplete milking is also practiced but leads to mammary infection administration of vitamin d and its metabolites is greatly effective large dose of vitamin d given in the feed for 5 to 7 days before pertussis reduce the incidence however if administration is stopped before 4 days before calving the cow is more susceptible dosing for periods longer than dose recommended should be avoided because of potential toxicity single injection of 10 million iu of crystalline vitamin d given 8 day before calving is effectively preventive
थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर प्रेशियस टाइम